What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to talk about how to make a trend line in a graph in Excel and watch till the end if you want to be able to have a trend line like this. Um, not necessarily the best graphic design skills, but we, we kind of get the point where you have the equation, the R squared value, and then some more visual effects. So in this situation, we just have a basic data for a scatter plot with X and Y values. So as you can see, there's a trend line already on here. I'm going to click the plus and then uncheck the trend line box and here you can see there's a scatter plot with that looks like it's trending upwards but there's no nothing exact so a trend line can really help to show the trend that is being seen so to make a trend line a really basic one all I have to do is click here and then just check the check the trend line box and as you can see a basic trend line shows but there are many more options so if you want to add a second trend line click the arrow, more options, and then you can click these different, and, and then make sure you are under the bar chart right here, but make there are different options that you can have for a second trend line. But if you don't want the linear trend line at all, check it out of here, click this again, uncheck the trend, un uncheck the trend line box to reset it, and then before, before you click this, click the arrow, more options. And now you have the ability to select different trend lines. But I know what you're thinking though, how do you know which option is the best one? Well, a great way to do that is to have a R square equation. And you can also display the equation as well, um, just for more kind of information as well. And whenever it goes on here, it is it is shown as a text. So so you can type over this, but um, but you might not want to. So we're gonna make this 12 point font and change that bold. So as you can, so the R square value is a great way to show the line of best fit. And as you can see, it went off the trend line, trend line a little bit. Just click the trend line again and the options will show back up. Um, it's a line of best fit. So as you can see with the linear trend line, the R squared is 0.84, which is pretty good, but we use the power. It, it, it use the power it changes to be a little bit better now I know you knew you I know that the whenever I change the trend line the equation in R squared didn't change to change to make sure that it changes what you have to do is you have to unclick and then re-click the boxes and as you can see it changed from 0.4 to 0.5 changing its exponential and it automatically changes but if it doesn't automatically change unclick and click the boxes and you can even set the intercepts so so, so, so as you can see, the intercept right here is eight. You can have set intercepts where, where, you, where as you can see, the R square is at 0 0.66, 0 0.67, but the intercept is default to zero. Right here, you can change it to be five, for example, and see how that changes things. Um, you can also have a IV forward, forward, backward forecast. This is not this is, this is not super accurate. Honestly, and especially if you are, are using, for example, like a polynomial, as you can see, it turns downward, so I forecast by five periods. Um, it, it continues downward, which might not be accurate, but this is cool because it can help you create a cool visual, for, ex for, ex for example, a linear trend line. Unclick set intercept. So, another thing we can do is you can actually change the name of the trend line that is in the legend. Now, keep in mind that whenever you change the name, name of the trend line, you need to have this legend box clicked in, 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 in order for this to appear. So, so if you change the name of the trend line, it's not gonna show up in anything unless this legend box is clicked. But looking at the trend line name, you can go from automatic to custom and change it to cool trend line for this example. I mean, it's gonna be edited as well. So this, so just by clicking this, going to home, then the normal text options, 12, for example, or 10, and then black for the um, text color. So now clicking on the, on the trend line directly, again, it's, it's, it's to show you some of the other options that you can have. So another cool thing that you can do is you can even change, have some cool visual effects on the trend line. So for example, you can, go to the the paint bucket for it here and you can make it a a solid 
make it what it will make it what it calls this whole, this whole of the line you have to change it change the dash type for it to be um an actual line as opposed to just dots so if you make it a solid a solid line it, it, you have to go here and change the dash type for it to be a solid a solid line instead of a dotted line i like dotted lines better just because i feel like for a trend line it gives the point across a little bit better another thing you can do is you can change the color of the trend line so you can have it be red or black which is useful because sometimes trend lines don't stick out very much you can even make it a little bit bigger so three point font for this example um, and something that I think is pretty cool is you can actually change the end cap type in a sense that, like, as you can see, it's just kind of a line. One thing, like, to make your visual just kind of pop a little bit better is you can, is you can go, is after clicking on this little um, paint bucket, after clicking on the trend line, scroll, you can scroll to the bottom, end arrow type. And you can change that to be an arrow so you can see it's not pointing in the upper direction. And you can also have an arrow at the beginning as well. So as you can see, it is pointing downward then also change the the shape of the of the dots so as you can see cap type is go, go, went, went from circle to flat and that's how it looks square round another, th another thing that's really cool is that you can actually have some really cool visual effects on the trend line so, so for example, it, for example, you can have a shadow or you can have the glow. So a shadow makes it look like, so, so I changed the color from, from nothing to green. As you can see, there's a little shadow that shows up right there and you can increase the size of it to make it a little bit more prominent. And there are some other options that they can, they can mess around with as well. So for example, you can, you can adjust the, we can just where the shadow shows. As you can see right now, the shadow is a little bit hard to see. So you can decrease the transparency from maybe 60% to, to 20%. And the key thing though is changing the blur type and going back to So, so, so it's changed the blur to maybe zero. As you can see, the trend line is a little bit more prominent and then increasing the distance. Another, another thing you can do is you can also have a glow trend line, black trend line. You, another thing you can do is you can also have a glow around the uh, trend line itself. So as you can see, there are different options and you can, for example, have a blue glow that can get as large as you want it to be. You can also increase the transparency of this as well. And going to the bottom, you can, there are also soft edges, which allows you to, it looks kind of weird if the line's dotted, but if the line is more is solid, then you can also have what they refer to as soft edges, which is just another visual effect. Um, so with that being said, I really hope that y'all found this to be helpful. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if this was of use at all. Let me know if you have any um, questions, comments, or concerns. And and, ple and please um, like, subscribe, and comment. Any support is extremely helpful. And I hope you all have a great day.